Well, thank you everybody for being here today. Uh, welcome to the Ford Center here in Evansville, Indiana. I'm Jason Sands. I'm the Executive Director of the Evansville Sports Corporation. I'm joined on stage by John McCarthy, the founder of the Swamp College Basketball Hall of Fame, uh, as well as John Mark Hall, the Athletic Director for the University of Southern Indiana, and then our Honorable uh, Mayor of Evansville, Mayor Lloyd Winnicky. Uh, and we're here today to announce the creation of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame Classic <clears throat> that we believe is going to be one of the best college basketball classics in the country. <clears throat> and there's really no better place to host a classic and celebrate, who celebrates Division II than here at Evansville, Indiana. I'm going to take a little trip down memory road here just so everybody can kind of understand what basketball means to this community. Uh, the first 20 national championship games for the Division II, which at the time was called the College Division, were hosted here at Evansville, Indiana at Robert Stadium, the first 20, uh, which is something that this community is really proud of and it's a source of pride for our community. Uh, the University of Evansville at the time was playing in the College Division, won five national championships under the legendary coach, uh, Abraham McCutcheon. Again, something that everybody in this community holds near and near to their heart at that time, uh, those five national championships. You fast forward to 1995, when the University of Southern Indiana brought the national championship for Division II back to Evansville, Indiana, under the leadership of Bruce Pearl, a great team that uh, everybody remembers fondly uh, in this area. So championships are something this community's been accustomed to. And then most recently, Evansville has played host to the Division II men's basketball at Elite Eight the last two seasons right here in the Ford Center, televised on national television for the world to see. So again, when it comes to hosting national championships, uh, this community is very excited about those opportunities and relishes in those chances to do so. Uh, so we take great pride in our college basketball here in Evansville, and, and this Classic is really going to add to that tradition in a great way. Uh, so to officially announce the Classic, I'm going to bring to the podium uh, a man who's worked tirelessly to recognize the achievements of players and coaches for small college basketball. He is a great champion for the game of basketball, and he's the founder of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame uh, and our partner in person that we're really excited to work with on this project, uh, Mr. John McCarthy. Thanks so much, Jason. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, my name is John McCarthy, as Jason mentioned. I'm the founder of Small College Basketball in America, and it gives me great pleasure today to announce the creation of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame and the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame Classic. I'd like to specifically thank Jason Sands with the, as the Executive Director of the Evansville Sports Corporation, along with John Mark Hall from the University of Southern Indiana, and of course all the good folks here at the Ford Center for helping to bring this dream and this vision to reality, to bring it to life. The inaugural Hall of Fame induction ceremony will take place right here in the Ford Center this coming November, November 17th, Thursday evening, right here at the Ford Center. The following two days, on the 18th and 19th of November, on Friday and Saturday, we will hold the Hall of Fame Classic, again, right here in the Ford Center. We will follow with the details about the Classic. In regards to the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame will serve and honor those players, coaches, contributors, who competed and contributed at the small college level. As a point of reference, when I refer to the term small college basketball, I'm referring to all four-year non-NCAA Division I college basketball. As such, we're referring to NCAA Division II, NCAA Division III, uh, both divisions of the NAI, the United States Collegiate Athletic Association, and the National Christian College Athletic Association, collectively consisting of approximately 11 to 1,200 colleges and universities throughout the country. A Hall of Fame committee has been formed, and we're well in progress on our first selection class. That first class that will be inducted on November 17th right here in Evansville is going to consist of 15 members. Classes afterwards will consist of 8 to 12 members going forward. We will announce that inaugural class this coming June to be inducted on November 17th. There's a few important guidelines I'd like to share with you in regards to the committee selection of the Hall of Fame class. First of all, there's going to be three categories, player, coach, and contributor. Each induction class will have a minimum of one person from each class. Players must be at least five years removed from their playing careers at the collegiate level 
and coaches must be at least three years removed from coaching. There is no such related timetable for contributors. There's, uh, let's see, there's no specific criteria in particular to the inductions for the players themselves, coaches, or contributors. All of those candidates will be evaluated individually by our committee. Our committee has already looked at literally hundreds of potential candidates, so you're aware we're in the process today, it is actually a duty, of narrowing from 50 to 25 to eventually get that class of 15. On a related note, myself and our committee are well aware of several very worthy candidates that are still coaching, whether at the small college level or other levels of college basketball or other levels of basketball. Again, coaches must be removed a minimum of three years from their collegiate coaching career or coaching career. The intent of the Hall of Fame is to hold a first class ceremony annually to honor those Hall of Fame inductees. The ceremony, as mentioned, will be right here in Evansville, and there's no plans at this point or intentions of building a physical structure, but we will rather build a component within the Small College Basketball website, which is smallcollegebasketball.com, which will host the bios, the photos, the videos of those prestigious coaches, players, and contributors. If you'd like to submit names of people that may be considered for our Hall of Fame, you may please send that to scbhof, as in Small College Basketball Hall of Fame, at gmail.com. That's scbhof at gmail.com. A full listing of our Hall of Fame committee can be found on our website at smallcollegebasketball.com. I'd like to note and sincerely thank each member of our Hall of Fame committee. Today with us here is Roy Pickerel from Kentucky Westland, longtime sports information director and coordinator of the media for the Division II Elite Eight, is a member of our uh, committee as well. Every single member is highly prestigious and highly knowledgeable of collegiate basketball at the small college level, having different backgrounds in different parts of the country at different levels within small college basketball, and I'm truly honored to be surrounded by such wonderful people. This is a real labor of love for myself and our committee. And I truly thank each of them for their time and commitment to small college basketball and to our Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely thank you for being here today. I sincerely thank all of those people, the people at the table, all of you, our committee, those sponsors who helped make this dream become a reality. It's hard to tell you how long the way here to be here. It's not days or weeks or months. It's literally been years in the planning to get to this point today. There's much to be done, but this is a real thrill and honor to be here today. We're here specifically in Evansville because these people, John Mark Paul, Jason Sands, believed in a vision, they believed in a dream. And like I said, it's a real honor and a pleasure, but we're here because of them, because they believed in this dream. And it's truly, for this I am truly honored and grateful. Today, the fulfillment of the dream begins. I'd like to turn it back over to Jason Sands, who's going to fill in a lot of the exciting details, and I think you'll be very pleased and excited about the details of the Hall of Fame Classic. Thank you so much. Thank you, John, and your vision for creating the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame is one of the reasons we're here today as well. So. We wanted to talk about, as John mentioned, we're going to have a Hall of Fame banquet to kick off the weekend. That's going to be Thursday night, November 17th, right here on the Fort Sun floor. Uh, that's going to be a great evening to really honor the people that put so much hard work and effort into you know, basketball uh, for us. And, and the teams that are participating in the Classic are going to be at that, that uh, banquet as well. So it's going to be a great evening to kick off this weekend Classic. And then when it comes to the teams, I'm just going to list off kind of our matchups that we've got set up, and then we'll go through it that way. Um, Friday night, we'll start, we don't have the times exactly picked yet, it's going to be late afternoon, early evening uh, to start these games on Friday night. Uh, we'll have, the first game is going to be University of Alabama Huntsville Chargers. It's a great program led by Lenny Acuff, their coach, so we're excited to have them in the tournament. They're going to be facing off against the Bellamy University Knights, who are participating in the tournament. They're led by Coach Scott Davenport. They're currently ranked number 13 in the country. 
and they're consistently, as you know, one of the best uh, teams in the country year in and year out. So we're really excited to have them. They actually participated in the Elite Eights uh, here at the Ford Center just this past year, and they did a fantastic job. So that's the first game. Our next game is going to feature Lincoln Memorial University, led by Coach Josh Schertz. Uh, Lincoln Memorial has one of the best records over the course of the last 10 years in any school in Division II uh, over that decade. And they're currently ranked number four in the country, so they always compete at a high level and are really excited to have them involved in the Classic. And they're going to be facing off against Kentucky Wesleyan College. And I don't have to say tell anybody about the great history at Kentucky Wesleyan, eight national championships, one of the true staples of Division II basketball. They'll be participating. We're very excited to have them. They're led by Coach Happy Osborne. And then we've also got their athletic director, Rob Mallory, in the crowd today. Uh, he'll be available for uh, questions after the press conference, as well as their sports information director, Roy Pickerel, who's been instrumental in events here at the Ford Center. He helped us run the last two Elite Eights here, as well as the GLBC tournament, a legend in the industry. And so again, we're very happy and thankful to have Kentucky Wesleyan participating in this tournament. And then the nightcap is going to be Florida Southern Moccasins. They're the defending national champions. They won their championship here at the Ford Center just this last March. They're coming back to the Ford Center to participate in this inaugural classic. And they're going to be facing off against our hometown University of Southern Indiana, uh, the Eagles, and are led by Coach Robbie Watson. And he is also here. Thank you very much for being here, Coach. He'll be available for questions afterwards as well. So we've got a fantastic lineup of teams, a great kickoff on Friday night with some good matchups, uh, along with the Hall of Fame festivities. It's going to be a great Thursday and Friday. And then we come back on Saturday, same time frame, uh, the 19th, we'll have the University of Alabama Huntsville against Lincoln Memorial, that first game on Saturday night. And then the next game, we'll have a rematch of the semifinal game here at the Elite Eight in 2015, Bellarmine against Florida Southern. So a game that if you were here, was one of the most electric college basketball games that entire season, D1 or beyond. Uh, so we're gonna have a rematch of that great classic uh, game here this, at this November in the classic. So we're very excited about that. And then the, the rematch, I guess the, the big event at the end of the night on Saturday is a revival of the, one of the best rivalries in college basketball. Uh, D1 or beyond is Kentucky Wesleyan versus University of Southern Indiana. This is a rivalry that they haven't played in the last couple of years, and we're very excited about this matchup. It's going to be a great game here in the Ford Center uh, in Evansville, Indiana. So some great matchups and, and really some great basketball and really a good kickoff to the season uh, for Division II, and we're really excited about this, this uh, tournament. So uh, when it comes to tickets, early bird all-session ticket passes are going to be going on sale this Friday. February 18th at 10 a.m. on Ticketmaster.com and here at the Ford Center Ticket Office. Uh, you can call for tickets as well at 866-820-4553. And then you can also get some more information about the Classic at hofclassic.com. That's where you can go for tickets and then you can also go for tournament information. So again, uh, thank you all uh, for your support. Thank you to everybody here. I'm going to toss it over real quickly to, to John Mark Hall to talk a little bit about from the U USI perspective. They've been a great partner of ours in this event, and uh, I want to thank John Mark and his team for their support. So. Thanks, Jason, to everyone here. I really like to thank the city of Evansville, the Ford Center, John McCarthy, Jason Sands, especially for allowing this to happen. This is going to be a great event. Uh, for Division II basketball. I know it has, a, as, as you uh, heard from Jason, the teams involved, has a little bit of a regional component to it, but it's a, it's really a, a, a national tournament. This will be the you know, the best Division II basketball tournament in the country, if, if not the best tournament at any level. And, and Jason ran through those institutions pretty quickly, but you know to kind of reiterate that, Alabama Huntsville and Bellarmine, they had a fantastic matchup a few years ago in the lead eight, and Alabama Huntsville was uh, on the verge of the top 25 again, Lincoln Memorial, top 10 in the country. We know about uh, uh, Bellarmine and USI and Kentucky Wesleyan and Florida Southern obviously won the championship here. And, and we're thrilled. I don't know if Coach Watson's thrilled about the field, but uh, he's gonna have a couple of tough games on uh, that Friday and Saturday, joking side. I know it's, it's very tough for our coaches to schedule um, a, a tournament of this magnitude. And I think, again, the city and the Ford Center have now allowed us to do that. And again, it's there's going to be six outstanding basketball games, uh, six outstanding programs. And we're thrilled to, to be a part of it and, and help make this happen. Um, again, it, it doesn't happen without the support, again, of all those folks. And a special thanks to Jason Sands. Jason's done so much for this community and, uh, and, and so much for Division II athletics uh, here with, uh, with the partnership with the University of Southern Indiana. So I really 
I'd like to thank him. Again, exciting times. Um, we, still, we still have a lot of basketball left this year, uh, but we're really excited about this tournament. It's kind of, uh, it'll be the second weekend of the season, so everybody will probably have a couple games under their belt. Uh, again, thanks to everyone involved. Uh, Rob Mallory, again, from Kentucky Wesleyan, his, um, his vision in this tournament, too, and, and renewing all our rivalry here at the Ford Center. We appreciate having him here today. But uh, again, thanks for being here. I'll, I'll have it handed back off to Jason. <laughs> Next, we'd like to invite to the podium uh, our great mayor, a great cheerleader for our community, a leader and visionary, one of the reasons why this community's moved fo forward so much in the last four years, uh, Mayor Lloyd Whitney. Well, thanks for being here today. Uh, we start by saying this is a perfect fit for the city of Evansville. I, I can't imagine a better fit. I can't imagine a city more qualified, or I can't imagine uh, a more appropriate venue uh, than uh, this building for this, uh, this great event. Let me start by thanking John for your vision. Uh, Jason and John Mark, uh, as mayor, you're briefed on a number of subjects uh, as things evolve over the last several months. As I was kept up to date on this project, uh, I got more and more excited. I know what this means to the city of Evansville. As, as Jason said earlier, uh, six national championships in our city alone. Uh, this marquee venue and I think you have to look at the great volunteer base in Evansville. We've proven time and again we can get volunteers out, whether it's for the GLBC tournament, the Men's Elite Eight, uh, the United Championship uh, uh, at Victoria. We have a great volunteer base and a great corporate base provides the wonderful sponsorships that, you, that are required to pull something like this off. So on behalf of the city of Evansville, we welcome this opportunity. I think it's one that our citizens will embrace, and uh, I can't wait. If the weather holds out, maybe the hotel will be open in time. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be very close. But uh, anyway, it's a great event for the city of Evansville. We, we uh, embrace it. Okay, and, and that should wrap everything up. Before we get closed up here, I would like to thank a couple people here, uh, starting with the Ford Center and, and Scott Shodick and his team here. They've done a fantastic job. They're, they're the best pros in the business, and uh, we wouldn't be able to host these events without their support and, and their leadership and working with us. Uh, obviously, the University of Southern Indiana has been a fantastic partner in, ho in hosting the GLBC tournaments, the Elite Eights, and now this tournament. Uh, John Mark and his team is unbelievable, and uh, they've done so much for the city, so we're really glad to be partners with them. I also want to thank again John McCarthy for his vision in, in creating the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame and working with us. It has been over a year that we've been working with John uh, to try to get to this point, and uh, there's a lot of work to be done, as John mentioned, but this is a very exciting time, and, and thank him for driving all the way in from Kansas City today uh, to be here. That's how committed and dedicated he is, and we appreciate his support and his partnership on this. I also wanted to thank the Evansville Sports Corporation Board of Directors. Again, these are my bosses, the people that allow me to do what it is that we do and, and bring these great events to the community. We've got some members here in the crowd today. We have Mike Blake, Kurt Molander, Larry Berman, Scott Schoenicke, and Scott uh, Schreiber. So again, thank you very much for your support and allowing us to bring these great events to the community. And then again, to our participating teams. I mean, that's, that's truly where the meat and potatoes is with this event. And, we appreciate them committing to this event, uh, you know, sharing in our vision and their excitement. And Rob and Roy from Kentucky Wesleyan, we're really excited about this tournament. We appreciate you being a part of it, and we're going to do our best to put on a great event. So again, thank you all for coming and covering this, and we'll have some availability from the coach uh, and, and Rob and anybody else that you'd like to talk to um, after this press conference. So again, thank you very much.